I'm sure you've had a situation before where you're watching a basketball game, then after a team calls a timeout or the quarter ends, you see a commercial with an NBA player feature in it. Well, we've all seen it. Not just watching games, but even watching YouTube, for example. My point here is there have been a lot of NBA commercials out there featuring NBA players. But there are some of them that didn't age very well. Whether it has to do with what the commercial has in it, or just the commercial itself didn't age well. How is everybody doing today? It's Sports Huddle back with another video. Today, I'm going to talk about NBA commercials that didn't age very well. Let's not waste any time. Now let's get straight into it. Starting off with this 2016 NBA All-Star voting commercial, where it features a Kings fan and DeMarcus Cousins. And just so you know, this was back when DeMarcus Cousins was one of the best, if not the best, big man in the league. In this commercial, it is basically a Kings fan telling DeMarcus Cousins how he is the best big man in the league and that he voted for him to be an All-Star this year. Now, this commercial is pretty much like any other All-Star commercial should be, right? Well, it was until 2018, when all hopes of staying an All-Star for DeMarcus Cousins was in jeopardy. Cousins misses. Oh, almost got his own rebound. Big thing right now is just and he not, just got hurt. Yeah. De Demarcus Cousins is in. Demarcus Cousins can't go. Oh boy. He's holding that left lower leg area in the area of his Achilles. Demarcus Cousins would end up suffering a torn Achilles, which is an injury that completely changes an athlete's career. After that, Cousins would end up signing one year with the Golden State Warriors, where he put up decent numbers. Then he would end up signing with the Los Angeles Lakers. And sadly, stuff got even worse. Cousins would end up suffering a torn ACL during practice. And now, if you look at him today, he is no longer known as an all-star center. He's now known as an average big man in the NBA. So it's safe to say that this commercial of him being an all-star in 2016 did not age very well. Next up on the list is an NBA on TNT commercial that came out in 2005. And I want you to watch this commercial and just see how it is. Today for show and tell, I brought my uncle LeBron, who is NBA Rookie of the Year. Did you win the championship? No. Yeah, but you made the playoffs. I uh, just missed them. Let's look at the froggy again. <laughs> Nothing is more dramatic than the truth. It all begins with opening night on TNT. As we can see, these kids weren't satisfied by Rookie of the Year winner LeBron James. When I first saw this when I was just scrolling around YouTube, I kind of felt bad for LeBron because nobody cared about him winning Rookie of the Year. But, little did those kids know, LeBron would go off. Now before we jump to conclusions, let's talk about the remainder of LeBron with the Cavs before he rejoined them. Now the next season, LeBron once again just missed the playoffs, but it was his first year as an All-Star. But after that, until 2010 before he joined the Heat, LeBron would make the playoffs every season and was an All-Star every season. Then after that, he won the finals with the Heat, rejoined the Cavaliers and won one after being down 3-1 to a team that won 73-9 during the season, then after one win with the Lakers. So this commercial right here didn't age well at all. Good thing that it isn't as popular anymore on the internet. Now this next one is probably the one that didn't age well the most. Just watch this commercial and then we'll discuss what happened. Another vicious dunking last night. Here's what we know. Suspect is 6'9", wiry, short hair, nice smile. Wiry? And he wears these. Whoa, the KD5. Designed to dominate from anywhere on the court. That's the main shoe right there. Yeah. But who is KD? Kevin, where's your shoe? It can't be Kevin, he's the nicest guy in the NBA. I think we all know which line it is that makes you realize this didn't age well at all. It's the line where he says he's the nicest guy in the NBA. Back then, when Kevin Durant was loved by fans and wasn't called a snake, he was probably one of the nicest guys in the NBA. But then, the offseason of the 2015-16 NBA season came, and on the 4th of July, Kevin Durant decided that he would sign with the team that he just lost to in the conference finals, the Golden State Warriors. And when NBA fans heard this, it was chaos. 
Kevin Durant went from the, the superhero to the villain in seconds. Once it was reported that he signed with them, people who respected him or had somewhat of respect for him hated him. This just proves how one day you can be the hero, but the very next day you could be the villain. This commercial did not age well whatsoever. Now, this next commercial is a 2002 NBA Playoffs commercial. Take a look at it. On a team of polished excellence, a quiet leader continues to guide them. Now, set on a familiar course, can the Spurs return to the NBA Finals and reclaim what was once theirs. Spurs versus the Lakers next on NBC. Now, the last time the Spurs won the finals before this commercial came out was in 1999 when they defeated the New York Knicks. The Spurs are going up against the Los Angeles Lakers, and the last time the Lakers won the finals was the year before that. It won't be easy for the Spurs to get past this Lakers team, but the Spurs are still an incredible team and have people like Tim Duncan, for example. Well, did the Spurs get past the Lakers, you ask? No, they lost to them in 5 games, but I will give credit to the Spurs because there was only one game that they lost in that whole series that was, 10, that was by 10 points, which means that every other game that the Spurs lost was under 10 points, which means they still put up a great fight. But still, this commercial did not age well because the Spurs did not return to the NBA Finals. Next up on the list is this John Wall commercial that didn't come out too long ago. Now there is one thing in this commercial that made me realize this one also didn't age well, and it's this. Now I know Wall still has time in his career to get a ring, but he has dealt with a lot of injuries as of late, and he is currently on a Houston Rockets team that will most likely trade James Harden, who is one of the best scorers in the NBA. And besides James Harden, they aren't much with John Wall. Now he is off to a good start in the season and has been playing like an all-star, however, for now, this commercial hasn't aged very well because Wall still hasn't gotten that ring. Finishing it off with this NBA 2K10 commercial, which features Derrick Rose and Kobe Bryant. Now there's nothing in this commercial that's bad, it's just the commercial itself didn't age well. As you can see, you have Kobe Bryant and a young Derrick Rose in that commercial. Just a few years later, Rose would suffer a torn ACL and now completely change his career. And from what it's looking like, it's permanent. And for Kobe Bryant, we all know what happened. He would pass away in a helicopter crash and the basketball world was devastated to hear this. It really sucks to see how you have one guy who looks like he can be a star in the NBA for years to come, but tore his ACL in a playoff game and hasn't been the same since. And then you have another guy who is a legend in the NBA, but sadly had a huge tragedy and passed away at just 41 years old. Well guys, that's all of them. That's all the NBA commercials that I can think of that I found that didn't age very well. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to do a part two of this. I'll see you all next time. I'm out.